super task and super task and super task. And I repeat it for years and I will die repeating the fact that I don't like the word super task. And it's not an Italian word. I don't like the way I don't like what, when it's origined and uh, and I don't like most of the Super Tuscans. Um, it's not that I don't like them. I found them a bit dull. Uh, I don't like uh, what's the idea behind it. The idea was to copy the American wines and serving some wine for tourists. So I have a lot of great friends that they come here, especially from US, and they come to a tasting and they give me, I would like to have a cab. I would like to have a cab and like to have a cab. I feel like those Italians that they go to New York and they ask for spaghetti. I mean, it's, what's the point? If you are in New York, maybe taste some local food. And so uh, New York is incredible uh, from this point of view. If you go to France, you would like to have some local food. So Cabernet in Italy, in Tuscany, was meant to, you know, it's kind of a vulgar, I would say. And uh, so it was difficult to find this idea of super Tuscan. So I rarely put my wine club um, non-local grape varieties. But uh, Roberto Becchi, I think he did a great job. And uh, first of all, it's a unique production. We bought the entire production. So I like when I own a winery in a way. And, uh, and, uh, and I, I, I like the approach actually he made the Super Tuscan without overly oaky. You know, you can perceive uh, the balsamic flavor of the Cabernet is a bit Mediterranean. I wouldn't say a blasphemy, but uh, it reminds me a bit like on the Sassicaia style, you know, when the Super Tuscan there, it's not just on the ripe fruit and it's not like a bad imitation of Napa and Bordeaux. It's more subtle, it's a bit more balsamic, it's slightly a bit refreshing. So this is, um, this is Roberto, we are in the southern part of Tuscany, in the heart of Etruscans. Uh, which is not Tuscany. Uh, Tuscan is really proud of their regions. They say that, you know, it's not Tuscany. Tuscan comes before Tuscany. So it's even before the Roman Empire. If you have arch, if you have the modern technique of wine making, we need to thank this incredible culture. And we're planning to do a video with Roberto because we would like to go uh, to visit archaeological sites with him because he's an expert of that area. So I wanted to support him and I wanted to, to give a chance even to a, a grave variety that has been somehow misinterpreted by, by most of the winemakers for commercial reasons. So let it go and enjoy it. Mm -hmm.